There you go. Got it. We are now recording. Here I am with Uber Dante. And uh, yeah, so we were just chatting a little bit beforehand, but now we're going to chat some game stuff. Unless there's anything you wanted to share about yourself with the with the community before we get into the game. <laughs> sure, myself, well, yeah, um, well, my name is, uh, I go by Uber Dante. Uh, I was just telling Matt, my real name is Dan Tuber. Was, uh, play, Uber Dante is a play on my name. Um, yeah. But uh, you can call me Dante. That's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, you probably, uh, from the solo contest, I designed uh, hiding her hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you're, I mean, you're in a lot of the contests, so I don't, think, I, don't contests. Think, I don't think people really know you from one contest, right? <laughs> it seems like, <laughs> although I was, I was looking to so you, because one of the ones we were going to look at today was, is that True Flipboard was your first one you shared on BGG contest? Yep, yep. Yeah, yep. and that was only last year, so I was like, you know, you seem, yeah, you like, seem yeah. so well ingrained in the community, and it's, <laughs> but you've only been here for a year, it seems like, right? Yeah, just about, yeah, a little over a year, I guess. Yeah. So what got you into submitting things to the, the contest? Were you designing games beforehand? Was that your first game? Like, how did that, you know? Very first game, yeah. It wasn't, I didn't really have an interest in game design uh, <laughs> at all. Yeah. Um, but I um, discovered, uh, yeah, print and play games in the contest, um, maybe 2020. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, so it's, oh, this is cool. I'm going to play some of these games and discovered um, playing cards.io. So I was, oh, I could just put the games on there and play them and share them with, uh, share them, uh, with the community and with the designers. And uh, I didn't really have an interest in <laughs> making any games myself, but then uh, people would say like, oh, that's great. Thanks for making this like, you know, mod. Like, what's your game? Yeah. I want to play it. And yeah, I like I I don't have a game. <laughs> and then I heard that like a few times, and I thought, well, well, what if I did? Like, what kind of game would I make? And um, then I thought about it a little bit, and yeah. <laughs> and obviously, obviously, you liked making a game because you've made more than one after that one. <laughs> yeah, so then I it was really fun uh, being in the contest, and uh, so yeah, I kind of got addicted, hooked to it. <laughs> it, and, uh, yeah, uh, it seems it seems that way. It seems like either like you do your first contest and you kind of get scared off or you get to do your first contest and like you do a bunch. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I don't know. The ideas are coming. So I feel like, oh, you know, I'm not sure how long they're going to be coming for. So <laughs> <laughs> I should try to like get out there, get them out there. And um, yeah, while I can. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have like a, like a book of ideas or. You keep, you know, they just run around in your head, or no? As soon as they're, as soon as they're there, I just like, okay, what's the contest? I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah, most, yeah, most of my ideas come from the, you know, like the contest prompts and like the discussions that people have, like before heading up to the contest. So, you know, like, yeah, yeah I didn't, I, I don't really have like a notebook full of ideas or like. I read like some some prompt and then I start thinking about it and okay, let's just go for it. Yeah. So you design for the contest rather than having much, your ideas yeah. and trying to find a contest for it. Yeah. 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 I'm not um yeah. And I'd really need those those prompts to yeah. like get the you know, get the idea coming. Gotcha. Interesting. And then so where did you come from? So before you're creating games, obviously you found the print and play community. Have you been playing games for a long time? Is it something you found later in life or, you know? Mm, I mean, I grew up playing some, you know, kind of classic board games and a lot of like card games, like, um, you know, like uh, Euchre and Pinnacle and those kind of card games. And uh, yeah, not a big, not a big gamer actually but uh i really like um like logic puzzles and those kind of any kind of puzzles i really yeah. like um and so yeah i don't really have like a a gaming group that i that, you know uh that i play games with yeah uh but i do a lot of 
like solo like just puzzle kind of things so when yeah. I, I found this oh there's like this pnp community a lot of it's like kind of solo games that are really interesting so most of the games that i'm playing are <laughs> are uh are games from the contest and then gotcha. um yeah i was talking to you earlier about going back I, I live in japan but um usually in the summertime i'll go back and then uh my family's big into games and their extended families are into games so we're playing games like all the time and they're introducing me to games but uh, yeah <laughs> nice i'm more of a and like a puzzles kind of guy yeah 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 because yeah you were sitting so the the one you have in the in the print and play the solitaire one right now is based off a like a logic puzzle yep. and you turned it into a yep. game which is a also an interesting process of how do you gamify something that is like a set puzzle like yeah yeah then, yeah yeah um yeah uh i think i talked a little bit about it on the thread but just um you know like you, yeah. the logic puzzles you kind of have like a set of rules like these basic it's like sudoku type rules and um yeah then trying to find a way to make it yeah adding dice and making it into a kind of game um another designer had a game uh based on that was uh, some I think it was Button Shy's Discord server was talking about, uh, was showing off this game that it came up with based on another logic puzzle, and then that kind of inspired me to try one with with rabbits. Yeah, yeah, it's, in <laughs> it's interesting. And but so you, so you say you're in your so the solitaire one is kind of a tough one for prompts then because you say you're so prompted by the design contest, but that one obviously just. It has to be played one player, so it's yeah, a lot more like, flexible with coming up with the yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be in it last year, and I just couldn't come up with anything. And there's just it could be anything, right? Right. Yeah. And then like, yeah. yeah, this year, then I was like, oh, I really want to like take part because that's like the biggest ones, right? And it, it seems like, and it gets yeah. the most. You know, most people has got like all the fun, like you know, other you know side events and stuff. I really want to be a part of. Yeah. that one i couldn't i <laughs> couldn't think of a game gotcha. uh and then it just happened i saw this other game and then it's like okay it's actually yeah i mean when i was designing it, it was a roll and write mm -hmm. you know and the low ink version is just a roll right a piece of paper <laughs> and yeah i could have just put it in the roll and write contest or it's small enough i could have put it in the one card contest but yeah. it's like, well, it's solo, so that's, a good, that's a good. <laughs> right. You wanted to get into that contest, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I really wanted to get into that contest, and I'm glad I did because it's a lot more eyes on that game. And um, uh, Solo McLaughlin did like a really nice YouTube video of it. It's like really high energy, <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, a lot of people commenting and uh, giving feedback. So yeah, I'm yeah. glad I was able to enter it in that contest. Yeah, but you've also beyond the contest. It's like you've had a couple of your games. At least, how many of your games have you had like picked up by? Because you have a but the button shy thing. I saw at least. And, uh, mm, yeah, just that. That's it. Is it just that one? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but how did it, how did that how did that come about? Because um, yeah, that's called um, flip puzzles, and um, it was in the one. I had a, a a game in the one card last year's one card contest 2021 and uh is this kind of you have this card and you flip it around and it's like a maze basically yeah. <laughs> and uh but i i came up with like a bunch of different variations of it yeah. so after the contest was over i was like look at this it's like flip puzzles and there was like a bunch of different variations of it and uh um they actually yeah button shy contacted me somebody so contacted another designer you. told him like hey check this out and um the reason they want is they have like a board game of the month club yeah and they give out like con like um stuff that you can't get anywhere else um right. or you get it earlier to their like patreon supporters so they wanted like some little like one card games they could just like <laughs> throw in. Yeah. So, that i had like i don't know how many there were there was like a bunch like they so basically their idea was to put one out like every month um 
yeah like 12 of them so i think they've put out six or so i don't know five or six yeah, i don't know yeah six i think yeah and how has that yeah. felt you know for someone who just had their first game design you know last yeah, year yeah it was crazy <laughs> it's like oh that's awesome yeah yeah so that's like you know they have like a thousand i think um patreon supporters so that's like a thousand people are gonna like get my game so that's <laughs> that's pretty good that's awesome yeah, yeah. congrats on that <laughs> yeah <laughs> or or however you feel about it <laughs> yeah i know it's just yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it yeah uh, but the one thing the main thing we want to talk about today because when i approach you about coming on the chat you're like the thing that you seem most excited about right now is your word games Mm-hmm. games that you have going on so yeah. there were t- there were two specifically that we we looked at which was uh flip word which was that first one that you entered in the contest yeah. and then word stacks which is one you had in a contest but it seems like you've been working on a lot out after the contest outside now so yeah do you want yeah, to talk about of, your word game yeah yeah both of those are ones that i you know they're, they're the first two that i've ever designed and then um so i kind of I didn't really know what I was doing and then I kind of <laughs> gone back to them after a year or so. And um, I think working on some other designs like uh, helped me learn uh, a lot. And so uh, Flipboard, I didn't really change very much, but I kind of went back and and, and added some stuff. And then um, the other one, I completely changed. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah, but it's, I, I think, you know, I, um, I think a, a lot of, you know, design, when you're designing for these contests, as soon as the contest's over, you're kind of like, okay, well, that's, what's the next one? And the poor game kind of gets left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's been fun to go back and, uh, and, and work on it again. So awesome. yeah, I'd recommend that to other people. <laughs> yeah, so what about... So what about word games? Because, you know, as you said in yeah. your message to me, you're, you're like, you know, if you're into word games, like word games seem to have like this, you <laughs> yeah. know, hit or miss thing. It's not like a yeah. lot of mid, mid ground on it, you know, usually. So what about word games pulls you in into the <laughs> wanting to do it? I don't know. I, I just, I, yeah, I like, I like any kind of word games, you know, like Wordle and uh, any of those are thinking of words. Um, but I can see people like getting turned off by them. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, when I was first designing Flipboard, I was just thinking like, well, what kind of game can I make? And I, I'm a, I teach English as a second second language or foreign language, and we do a lot of like, you'll bring some word games in that we've mm. that I've adapted for the classroom. You know, we'll do like right. categories or like outburst or something like that. <clears throat> do, do they create uh, big arguments like they do in family games too? <laughs> yeah i actually I, that's that's one of my yeah I, I like that when that happens uh, i think it's i don't know some people maybe get turned off but it's kind of fun to hear people like arguing their their point why something should be acceptable or not you know oh yeah um, so especially I, I, like yeah flip word and word stacks fall into that category where you have to kind of think of a word that fits some category and well it could be that right no you know, yeah a little back and forth it's fun depends on who you um, play with <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have i have i have like one friend who like him and his father-in-law had like apparently such a, a bad argument about um whether eggs were dairy which <laughs> <laughs> they're they're not but okay yeah. the, the father-in-law was like they're you buy them in the dairy section and it's like but apparently they had such a big argument about it like they <laughs> they wouldn't talk for like for for weeks after that oh, goodness. Like, so, oh, goodness. but yeah. like, i feel like i feel like so many people have family stories about that with like you know scrabble or or categories or you know it's a word. Well, what's its definition? I don't know, but I know it's a word, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it is a word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm not like a huge like word word game like addict or anything like that. But um yeah. yeah. Fun. <laughs> I don't I don't like I don't play Scrabble. I don't really like Scrabble, but gotcha. um, 
Yeah. Well, I have the uh, I have the the PCO PCIO rooms, playing cards oh. IO rooms up. If we can show people a little bit of those games, oh, we can talk about it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. So let me see. Uh, Do you want me? I, I, I or, or, you, or you can, yeah, if you want to pull it up too. I already had the rooms open, but if you want to pull it up, that way you can show me a little bit okay. more essential. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Um, one of them might be a mess because I was looking around at the word stacks one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. <laughs> I, I, was, I was pulling out, I do have a comment on, on the cards on that one because I was, look, I was comparing all the cards and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I think, can you enable, can you let me share? I think you have to like. Oh, boy. Enable share. Let's see. All right, now I'm showing off my lack of Zoom skills. I usually use Google Meets, but they don't allow you to. I'm using yeah, you just Yeah, just go to share screen and then like allow. There's like a thing like allow people to other people to share. <laughs> Let's see. It's everything's different on the iPad, which is the is the pain. Mm. <laughs> Well, meeting settings. Okay. If you want to just if you want to just oh, show it, I can just explain. Uh, do, 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 do. I think this would be an easy one to find. I'll give this one more minute <laughs> to find. Recording security chat. Meeting set settings doesn't show it. If I just click on participants, click on you, stop video, chat, make host, rename, allowed to record local files. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Um, such as that view. I'm sorry, I'm failing at yeah. this. Well, you just, you can just share it and I'll just. Uh... I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> it seems like it should be such a basic thing. All right, iPad, you you lose. Okay, yeah. here we go. Share screen. And three, two, one. There we go. All right. And where were we? There we go. Yeah. So there's all the cards that took out. Yeah. The and there's <laughs> Flipword. Which one do you want to start with? You want to start with Flipword? This, this side of Flipword is the simpler one. Yeah. So, so um, I I just run through a, a solo game, two eighteen. Okay. So that was that was my. Oh, one. nice. But yeah. Okay. So you you did like this the flip through every card kind of uh, solo game. Yeah. 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 The 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 best way to play this is. Um, one of the other designers just basically suggested this ver this um, variation is just grab three cards and <laughs> you know what are they and uh, you just look at the top um, conditions on three cards and try to think of a word or if you're with a group of people you just shout out what those three things are and try to you know everybody tries to think of it. Um, yeah, so if I put new deck. Yep. So the basic idea is, like, if you're playing with you yourself or with other people, you move one card over, the other card over, and then yep. those three conditions up top. We have to try and come up with a word with that, right? The word, yeah. Yeah, and, and then that's you, it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> but so, um, how, so yeah. tell us about how you came up with all those different conditions. Obviously, like making them work together, all that. Type of yeah, stuff. Uh, yeah. So it's a big puzzle, like trying to you know come up with stuff and this so you can see like three buttons there's original deck and then there's new deck so i just made like a it's a nine it was for the nine card contest and so the original deck is this nine nine cards and there's four conditions um you know both sides top and bottom and but they all have to you know if you bring up three they all have to hopefully uh, work so you have a find a word um, so that was like really hard to do. Um, so right. some of them like, uh, yeah, so we got like, 
what the cards one two and three are more kind of like descriptive yeah, I mean, just, I can like, pull out, pull has, so can yeah has has buttons or it can swim or it's an animal or it's a job it's those kind of like kind of category type and so mm -hmm. those are really tough to to find ones that would always go together so you know sometimes they <laughs> it's a little bit iffy with those um and then the 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 remaining ones four through nine are all like something about the structure of the word like it starts with a letter ends with a letter how many letters does it have and um maybe it has particular level letters or it doesn't have others or something like that but um you know those are, are easier to match up um but they're maybe not as interesting you know, we only have those. So I tried, you know, to get as many of the the other kinds in there, but it was just three yeah. was like the maximum that I could get. Um, this is the second, right. this is a newer deck that I just that I just made. And then if um yeah, oh, the, so ori then, the original deck. Yeah, and you can see the original deck. You actually hit um see all and then it all spread out, but oh there we go. Top there, yeah. Um <clears throat> Yeah, and so they all have a number, and what happens is the second, the second deck you can sw like swap cards that have the same number, so you can swap the the number twos from each deck. Gotcha. Yeah, and so uh, because there were, I couldn't add like another, you know, nine cards isn't very much, and like you know right. everyone was saying oh there's there's more cards if you did the same game with like 50 cards or something it'd be great and like you can't it doesn't work that way um, <laughs> oh yeah the combinations get yeah the combinations you just get like yeah you would get stuff that just doesn't work you know um so like number four is like the starts with card so there's like you know four conditions starts with something so then the new deck has like four different ones but like uh you know, card eight, you can see has like, has an F or a V. So then I don't want it to, you know, have starts with F on the other card because then it's kind of like the same. So, right. You know, and the other one has, you know, has a Y. And so it was, <laughs> it was like no more letters left kind of thing when I was trying to, um, to find uh, nine more cards that I could add. But I think it works. Um, and then so you have like the random mix button that will just like randomly mix uh cards from gotcha. each deck and then you have a new deck gotcha. so you can make like 500 different decks that way right <laughs> and then um and so there's the when you're doing like um you know three conditions there's like with the one deck it was like five thousand different combinations right and then with the two with two decks, it's like forty thousand. So it's it's pretty cool. Like uh, it's really compact. It's, it's funny how it works that way. <laughs> yeah, it's not like doing the game isn't really doing anything new. You've probably seen like similar kinds of games, but um, yeah, having like usually they're like two like two things like you know like categories is like starts with a letter and some right. category. Um, having the third one just you have to think a little bit <laughs> like yeah. sometimes they come right away sometimes it's like oh is especially there a word like, i think there's a word but maybe uh you know especially like this for like this one here for like five two and eight where are three cards there like just having to keep all that like second letter comes the first yeah. alphabetically doesn't have an o or a u in it <laughs> and a location right. like it's just like a lot of words to keep in mind um, yeah yeah and like I felt felt like when that first time that came out came out for me, like second letter comes before first alphabetically. I feel like whoever could like read the fastest was gonna if I was playing with someone would, would get that one because like the other ones like like in the sea, noisy, sure you can comprehend quickly. Like second letter comes for first alphabetically. Okay, let me think. <laughs> what does that mean? Sit, all, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, but after obviously after you played a few times. Yeah, you know, if you, you're, you if you're yeah if you're used to the deck, you can kind of. You probably have an advantage and then the, uh, the other thing that you can do is if you're just playing the regular game the three cards out uh one person can rotate uh one of one of the piles whenever they want so you can right. kind of do like a tricky, if you see oh i'm gonna do a kind of trick move and flip one and 
rotate one. Or if people can't think of, you can't think of an answer, yeah. you can rotate one of them. So is this something you play tested uh, a lot with people in person too, or just kind of online, or you, you did in person too a lot? Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I basically tested it. I'm pretty much by myself. Um, but I just had like, I have like a two hour commute. So I had a, had a, had a deck with me and just <laughs> flipping them, flipping through them and, you know. So then, I mean, uh, so this is like you're saying this, maybe this mechanic kind of has been done before in other games, but like the small package of it is kind of. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of I think the, the nice small package is kind of nice. You put it in your pocket. I think I called it like a word game system in your pocket. So there's like a, the the rule book has like a bunch of other kind of games you can play with them. And they're all based on like other word games. So there's like kind of like a apples to apples version. And there's like some other kind of uh, uh, games you can play with. It. There's this like solo one where you try to find a word that fits like all nine of the of the cards and or just you know eight of them or whatever so yeah um i think there's yeah there's a lot you can do with these cards and then um yeah this game led to to word stacks which is very similar and then i have a, another game that's kind of the same as well <laughs> <laughs> you're running with the idea and going with it running with the idea yeah it's generally what i do if i get an idea i'm gonna try to like <laughs> what kind of variants can i do on this how can i run with it yeah well, did you want to look at word stacks or did you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah okay so we can see how word stacks kind of builds off of this idea and uh well yeah, here's my so. here's my mess i made of it first because i took out all the cards to look at <laughs> i think there's a button you can, you can press like quick yeah game but, or... well maybe i can oh but yeah quick... if you want to look at them this way i i just want to make my quick points about um before i forget so i was looking at the all the colors to see like yeah so Basically, well, you, you can explain the game, I guess, about how it basically works. Um, but, but there's gold cards over here, yep. which have certain colors. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if it's better to go for certain colors. Like, are certain mm. colors easier to do than others? So I was looking at mm. what the, the conditions are on each card, mm. um, which basically in this game, you're trying to be watching, like, you're trying to say, like, you're trying to build stacks of, you try okay, to build a word the cards that doesn't have, yeah. does, yeah. doesn't have an N is an animal yep. odd number of letters yep and you, you're building up you keep trying to build up yeah um so the, the higher stacks are worth more points um so you're trying to build up but the more you put on then it gets you know, trickier to do that and then uh the stacks can also topple if you don't start putting you know if you you start making another stack then the stack gets kind of like i'm gonna fall over right so you have a few a few rounds yeah. uh where you can not play on it but then it's gonna like fall over yeah so um, if i had like these stacks here and i played a card on this stack this top one would get oh it's really hard to rotate on. yeah you can see an can't, ipad yeah. you can't do it on the <laughs> ipad it's <laughs> I, I can't if i'm quick come on <laughs> anyways it gets it gets tilted a little bit it gets tilted it, a little bit yeah and then yeah. if you if you ignore it then you lose it um yeah and also there's you don't use all of the deck so there's always like some cards uh so the quick game you're only using like half the deck and even the standard there's some cards are not there so um, all right so i wasn't even looking at all the cards i don't think when i was because this is a quick yeah game. there's like 24 down in the in uh the so maybe there. my point is is moot then because i was going to say <laughs> i was looking at all the i was looking at all, all the cards and i noticed that like green seemed harder to do in this one um, so I wasn't going to go for green because there's like has yeah. exactly three vowels. It doesn't have an O or U. I'm like, well, those are going to be hard to put in the same word. And then yeah. it ends in ER and ends with two consonants. Well, those can't work together. So it's like, right. I'm not going to go for green, big green stack yeah. this game. But yeah, honestly, but you're only going to have like three, three, um, three cards in your hand. So it's yes. gonna be hard to know <laughs> right i was just saying if, there was, if, yeah. there's, if there's some bouncing with the with the cards in general but um yeah um, yeah have you because like you said you said it was hard in the other game like when people want more than nine cards and this game has how many cards 60 something all together 63 all together yeah so there's a lot more combinations to think about so how 
how did you find the balance of well this like the difference with um the flipboard is you just you know, three they just come out randomly so i had to make sure that there was a combination for this one um yeah you can choose to you know which side of the card you want you can choose which ones to play on which stack so you don't have to put them all together so you could have when you have two green ones that both have ends in something you can use them for different different stacks or you can use the other side of those green right. so yeah um yeah i did look through <laughs> you know look through them and try you know okay i don't want either, there i think there's several cards that say like ends with whatever so i tried to balance those out like through the different yeah. colors so i think every color probably has two gotcha um, yeah but you never know what you're gonna get um right it's kind of the yeah <laughs> it's kind of the fun right. of it. yeah which which one i'm gonna play and then if you're playing with other people you don't know what they're gonna play out there so you're working together it's a it's a cooperative game Right. You're trying to get these goals together uh you can kind of talk about what you know should we go for this color and you start playing you can figure out which color you're going for um or mixed color yeah do you want to try um, playing through playing through a couple rounds here yeah. just to get see how yeah it um so should i join that yeah hop on in okay <laughs> <laughs> and we'll you know you'll be able to see my cards are or whatever but uh, oh well <laughs> yeah all right i'll i'll jump in a second since i can find it okay here it is and so that you can rotate the cards since i can't do that on my ipad <laughs> <laughs> all right let's um let's remove that person all right so i don't know we want to do a whole game but we can just yeah you want to start with whatever's here yeah yeah okay. so all right, so yeah, we got a couple of reds here. We can red, orange, or red, blue, or go for the green. Um, right, and for the people watching, we're trying to match the goals on the right there over here. Yep. Whoops. Um, so we get more points if we get a lot of reds and orange in that stack, a lot of blues and greens in that stack, or blues and reds in that stack. So going for blues or reds might be good since they're in two of the conditions right yeah yeah uh boy my my cards are pretty bad here though. although it has exactly two vowels it's not the greatest <laughs> blue to play out there <laughs> all right i'm just gonna play um i'm just gonna play an orange one even though we're talking about <laughs> can i go first Is that right? yeah go ahead all right yeah, so people can um, see our 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 word game skills or lack of word game skills on display here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got um, doesn't have an S, so I'll just say like um, I always want to think of a word that does have an S. So I'm like thinking, okay, horse or something. <laughs> yeah, doesn't have. Yeah, don't don't um, think of a pink elephant. Don't think of a pink elephant. Yes, right. Yeah. Yes. So okay, we'll just. I'm trying to think of like a because once you say a word, then you can't use it later right um so usually like some kind of short word like i'll just say fox doesn't have an s so and then I draw gotcha. another card all right sure. and yeah so he has a separate hand that yeah you, you can't have, see my people, hand people can't see yeah. right um so you only see my hand people so you can see how i'm poorly playing at least uh let's see so put an orange out there some I don't have any oranges, but maybe let me try a red here. Um, yep. Yeah, so this stack is not in danger of toppling at all. So you can always like play somewhere else as well. That's true. Yeah, I don't know the strategy of this game yet. <laughs> of how I, how many stacks is ideal versus working up towards stacks. You know. uh -huh. I mean, I obviously get the the mathematical of hey, it's better to get nine points with eight cards versus one point with four cards so yeah um, and you can actually learned... yeah you can actually get um the nine points with uh seven cards because this top one oh uh, it's the, the color counts the top one also it, right? counts so if you play like on the 
the red orange if your last card is a red orange right then you're, you're actually playing two you're playing a red and an orange on there so gotcha so like i have a save those I, cards i have a yeah. right i have like a blue green so i might want to save that right. for the blue green Maybe stack you want to save it. yeah right and yeah then you want to like yeah like yeah. it do doesn't have or some kind of like easier <laughs> condition see. you want to put that yeah well if I could, if you could flip that card for me, I might actually play oh. that because because I I think that plays well with doesn't have an doesn't have an S doesn't have ST so we don't oh, we're yeah. not wearing yeah. a S or yeah, CH. That's, that's a good uh, I don't know. Let me say phone phone doesn't okay. have ST or CH and it doesn't have an S on it. So. Okay, that so might my, throw my hand. Now, I don't have any cards that are nice like that. Uh, <laughs> so all my cards are going to be like restricting a lot well i mean that um, seems like as you go it's really hard to yeah. i would imagine to get the 9.1s like yeah nine point ones are tough hammering um, out some 4.1 seems like the yeah optimal get strategy yeah um and there's like a wild um there's like a Okay, we'll do this one. Um, the, the, yeah, there's like a, a wild goal where you can put anything on, and then there's like a rainbow one where you can, you know, one of each kind of. All right, so I put um, rhymes with C or say, um, and doesn't have S T or C H or S, so I'll just say. Um, you can't say say. Oh no, rhymes <laughs> with say. You can say say. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's say today. Rhymes with say. Gotcha. Today it doesn't have an S or ST or CH. Oh yeah, as you go, you were talking about like the three cards in, in Flipboard being like, okay, more to think about. Yeah, Like getting up to like seven cards here, thinking of all those conditions at once is, and that's why you have, that's why you have that timer down there. For, Cause you say you should take no more than three minutes. Cause you can really sit there for a while. Now. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to be yeah. sitting there. For too long. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> let's see can i finish can i can we finish a four stack let's see it starts with g yeah if you had a red i want to save i may want to save that for a, a red blue stack though though we might not get that part anyway but starts with g well let's let's start a let's start another one just to uh yeah. show how another stack works because that one will start to top is it three or more or four or more ones so three or more three. so it's three this one's going to like topple just a little bit and yeah. if we get you can have three that are road so like the next round would be like this one and then that and this would and be okay this would be okay but if you don't play on this then gotcha lose them all yeah so back. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so my word will be fussy. Five or fewer letters, so I will say ape. Ape, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's green, blue. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, this was a good card that I got. So we'll go back here. I don't know what the word is. I'm just going to put it on. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. Okay, so three different vowels. Um, oh, that was actually harder than that. Okay, so three different vowels. So that would be like an A and I and an O or something like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll just say like, um, ah. <laughs> I'm thinking of like has an S or something. In it. Um, yeah. That was going to be easy. A, E. Um, Uh, I was thinking like elementary, but that only has an E and an A in it, right? Um, well, why if you count Y as a vowel, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go with that then. <laughs> why is a why would it be a vowel in that case, right? Elementary, yes. That's yeah. like um, that's another thing. Like 
what what is why right um why on board games yeah why yeah everybody like there's commented on this game is like what's why like why is why you know like <laughs> you have to explain the rules what why is yeah well, that's so. It. so that's another interesting thing about word games to talk about is like some people like a lot of flexibility and some people mm. like I want all the rules about what yeah. words are allowed and what rules aren't. Yeah. So what kind of what kind of feedback did you get on that type of thing? Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot like the why is probably the number one one. And I think like my first rule book that I wrote, I had why as a vowel. And then someone was like, that's why it's not a vowel. Why did you do that? And um uh, yeah and then other basic yeah basically like any i tried to i don't know if you can yeah i don't know if there's any good examples but i tried to come up with ones that um like categories or conditions that could be interpreted in a, a variety of ways mm -hmm. so like i think one is like something that's worn so it could be like you're wearing it <laughs> like right. worn or it's like it's worn it's like a old worn out tire or something like that right you could answer like dress or you could answer tire you could answer pretty much anything could get worn right right um yeah and the the other thing i tried to do with the categories is try to make like some really general ones that would kind of like would be like pretty much anything so right. like one of the categories is like in nature or one of them is like on tv so like right. if you're just playing like on TV, you probably think like, oh, like actor or like, t you know, <laughs> news or something like that. But generally, like anything could be on TV. Right. right. I mean, that's the, the that's the one I feel like those are the categories like categories at the beach was the one that like used to start fights because people would be like, yeah, <laughs> sure, that could be at the beach. But is it usually at the beach? And yeah, it's like, right. You know, but so that's the interesting about this game is that it's a co-op game. Yeah. So have so you I noticed think... notice less like people debating about the conditions of the cards because of that yeah well it, um i just made it a co-op like uh, a couple oh, okay. months ago this, this was so it started yeah, yeah. off as a as a competitive game and it was a kind of a disaster it wasn't a disaster i mean it was an okay game but um yeah i think you'd probably get more of that like uh, you know it depends on what kind of people you're playing with right as always yeah <laughs> generally nicer people that are like, oh, you know yeah. um yeah i don't we don't have to play anymore but um yeah it, it started as a as a kind of competitive game and it, it was really hard um like it started off like kind of you know people are playing cards down or whatever and then but you get more points the higher you are so we didn't have these gold cards it was like a different system um and then the game would just kind of like get slower and people would try to try to find words you know and um it was it kind of had that kind of issue to it so um yeah uh the, so most of this like the goal cards are new that that way like you could only have eight eight maximum and then you know the cards would go you had it you could like remove a card like if a card was not this like you know see and say is like i can't think of any words you can you can take it out um you'll lose gotcha. a card but then maybe you can build up um gotcha and then uh yeah the co-op actually the, the the original one didn't even the original rules don't even use the colors you could just put anything you wanted and uh that just kind of leads to people like oh i could put this card anywhere like which you know where am i going to try it over here no I'll try it over here so Gotcha. Helped with the AP a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's kind of AP issues. It's still kind of like AP issues. Yes, there, yeah. But at but, least you um, can you have the goals to direct you a little bit. So like yeah, which, which at of least these two cards. You probably yeah. get you probably get okay, let's just get the one point or let's just get the four points and see what the next the next goal card is and try 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 to get, you know, try to get at least one like nine point one, but and then uh, you, you you know at the end of the game you get these kind of how well you did so if you're if you were doing really good getting a bunch of nine point ones then you're going to be at the top but yeah yeah nine point ones seem really again having to have those so many conditions unless you get a bunch that kind of stack well like that you know doesn't have st and yep. doesn't have s you know seems difficult but 
Yeah. There are people who are good at that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, and then, so th- yeah, I like how this game has kind of the, the added, it's not just like a word game. There's something else to think about, like the point structure and mm-hmm. um, the stacks. And because I feel like a lot of word games are just like focused on the idea of come up with a word. Like I like, I like the idea of having like word game as a mechanic, like mm-hmm. in in a ga- in a greater game. So like I like this is that this kind of works a little towards that, gives you a little more to think about than just yeah, just the word, you know. Yeah, the end game when you get down to the the end, it's it's, it's quite because you you only got the cards in your hand, and but you you have enough cards to get another point, but you have to like you know make sure that you're you're playing them right and see if you can get you can get those last like couple of points. Right. You have to kind of plan it, but yeah, that is yeah, that's interesting. Part. Yeah, I think something maybe it is just it's done more, but I haven't come across more games that aren't just you know using it as part of the game rather like I've, I've never tried it but i hear like uh like hardback or paperback those games are supposed mm. to be have more um outside of just the to think about other than just the making of the words but it seems like yeah, it's, it was, it's, it's rarer yeah yeah it was in um uh the game crafter had a word contest um when was it it's still going on. They haven't <laughs> chosen a winner oh, yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah. And there were like, oh, maybe like almost, there's at least 60 games. And, um, and you know, there's just a bunch of variety, you know, variety. And uh, people were doing all kinds of stuff. It was quite interesting. Yeah. That might be so I think, you know, yeah. yeah, there's there's still... I think there's still some <laughs> still some things you can do with word games that haven't <laughs> well, been done yet. Well, that's so that's interesting. Is it the stigma of like like word games are something you play with your family, so it has to be you know like something basic and simple, and it's not something that real gamers would ever play. You know, like mm. is, is it is it that is it that it's like the intended audience, or is it I don't know. Like, mm. I feel like I feel like it's very popular now. It's like mix mechanics, like. Mm. mash them together but i don't I just don't see word again i haven't seen everything in the world and but in my yeah well my there's a couple one. word games in the uh in the roll and write contest right now that yeah. look really interesting yeah i played i haven't checked um, out this recently yeah yeah, yeah. um if it's santaf i know i'm pronouncing it right has a really yeah. interesting one uh and then um uh, John Burton, yeah. who you know, has got great games, just put out a word game a couple of days ago, I think. So yeah. I don't know, maybe word so, games. So maybe, maybe they're on the rise. Yeah. 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 Maybe you're starting the trend. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Is it maybe Wordle? Did Wordle get everyone thinking? Wordle about it? probably. <laughs> yeah. So I got yeah I got another word game in my pocket and I haven't brought it out yet. So. <laughs> And is that um, one, how, how does that one build? Is it, you said it's building on this one. How does it generally uh, build? Because well, you said it's not finished yet, so, but. Uh, yeah, no, I, the word gate, let's see, I've got, yeah, flip word, word stacks, and then the third one is called uh, Word Paths, and I I co-designed it with Kevin Privil, who's also in the solo contest. Um. And that one was in the, the Game Crafter contest, and they haven't. Um, it, it was a finalist, but they haven't decided the the winner yet. Right. Gotcha. Um, and that one's like <laughs> triangles, and uh, it's kind of like Triamino's version of word stacks, where you're you know, gotcha. putting them together, and making your own. Uh, you can instead of having like a stack, you can just kind of make your own path and, and choose the choose the conditions that you that you need to make your word. Gotcha. Yeah, and then I got um, I got something I'm planning for the in in hand game contest. Another word game. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. All right. So you're hooked <laughs> on the word game. Yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, the uh, the other thing I'm sure other people would like to hear about is yeah. you you uh you just you just dropped your new blog on the uh, yeah on the playingcards.io <laughs> and how and uh how to make all these things happen because you know 
I sit and look at it. I've never tried super hard to do it because I look at it and I'm like, mm. oh, it seems like so much work. But, but mm. uh, you uh, you seem to have a knack for it and you jump into people's threads all the time and make and generously make, you know, uh, the playing cards that I owe yeah. rooms for them. And yeah. uh, so like, how did that all come about for you? And why do you, why do you do that? <laughs> and how, you know? Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I first used it like, I think um, a couple of years ago, 2020. And it was, um, it was really basic back then. They just, you know, they're adding stuff to it all the time. I think it's kind of settled in now, but um, you know, for the longest time you couldn't, you know, you couldn't rotate the cards and you couldn't, they didn't have dice. And so there's always kind of like workarounds you had to do to like make <laughs> people's games. Right. Um, and it was just kind of fun. Like, Oh, I want to make this game, but this game, you know, has requires you to like, re, you know, rotate the card and you can't do that. So what's the workaround or this game has some dice, but you don't have dice. So what's the workaround? And you have to make like a stack of cards with like, yeah. that look like dice or something like that. So why were um, you so why were you like so intent on doing it in this room that was hard to do rather than just playing it physically though? You just like, like play like, it, right? <laughs> yeah. No, so yeah, I'm, up, I'm like... curious what the impetus is because like you could just play it in real life. Like why did you work so hard to figure it out? I mean, obviously, like now it has it, it seems like it it's it's useful, but like I'm curious what the original impetus was when it's you know, you hit the wall of this isn't working well, you know. Mm. Well, um, yeah, it was kind of is an interesting puzzle, I guess. It's gotcha. an interesting yeah. challenge for me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I didn't, you know, I'm going to try a bunch of games, but, you know, I don't, I, I do print out games, but um, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to <laughs> print out a bunch or I didn't really feel confident in my skills uh, yeah. for crafting a game. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of, you know, I have a, I had a, a, a baby at the time, so I would just like be holding her in my arms and like playing with an iPad or whatever. I was just sleeping, so you know, yeah. just, you could play play uh, you know, PCIO that way, right? Um, right. But yeah, basically, I just have like yeah, a couple of years experience using it. So and it started off like really basic. So everything that they've added, like. You know, okay, I know they just added this part. So, but I know where everything else is. But if you're coming to it, you know, like now or fresh, then, you know, it is kind of confusing, I think. And they don't have a lot of, I don't know if there's any tutorials out there. What they have on their own website isn't, isn't that great. So I've been thinking for about, yeah, like a year or so, like, you know, I should do like some kind of <laughs> tutorial thing. Yeah. Uh, I would talk, talk to some other designers about doing something like that, but um, never really came to fruition. And then just thought, yeah. why not? You know, just I'll just put something out, like, you know, just a little tips here and there. Um, maybe help people out. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, people obviously <laughs> are, I, you already got a bunch of likes and on your on your yeah, first post. Okay. So like, so I, you know, obviously <laughs> people are, are interested in this people especially since uh it does seem that when you have some of these digital imp implementations you do get more people playing your games people play them, yeah people play them they do uh, they do because um yeah if i make like a public room that's like in my like game list or whatever so when anytime someone plays it like it goes to the top of the list so i can see like oh Someone played it. <laughs> Someone just played oh, it. you can see if it's been played or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, people play, yeah, games and well after the contests are over, too. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, some, I get a lot of, like, people send me geek mail and, like, can you tell me? It seems like you know about this. Like, can you tell me about this? Because I'm really so, happy. I, you know, solicit it, actually. So I'm really happy for to help people out that way. So the blog will be a nice place to be like, yeah, I already answered it. Now you can go to this, this blog. Just look at here. the blog. Yeah. Just look at the blog. Don't, don't bother me with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's, it's for self sanity for all the questions right now. <laughs> yeah. 
but I don't really, I don't, I haven't planned like a curriculum or anything. It's just going to be random stuff every time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, so that's I don't know how helpful it will be. It'll, I'm sure it'll help some people and other people will be looking for other information, but I'm sure as you go through different things, people will find things like, like I was just, I was just sitting down this morning trying to, I just put something into a, in the traditional deck contest and i was like how could, yeah, I yeah, I how could i possibly do this in the pcio room and it's i don't even know where to start like you know uh, <laughs> you know I so it's the same game you sent me before right yeah yeah i mean it, i've changed a few small things to the same mechanics okay yeah so, but it's just like setting up yeah i think i put that on pc <laughs> so just oh like, yeah you did yeah i'll put it up i put it i, I, well, I don't know if that I wasn't because it wasn't my way of making you i'm asking you to do that i was just saying <laughs> you know from uh like do you have to have an account to do some like advanced features or is it you can do everything mm. just from because like i wasn't sure like how do i add a button like new goal button or how do i write completed goals like what you see there and it's like i couldn't mm. figure out where to do that it's like i can i see how to customize my deck and stuff like that but yeah i didn't see where you could upload a new background like i see you, you guys do fancy backgrounds and all that yeah stuff, right? fancy backgrounds um <laughs> i don't know um i don't know because i have i have an account but the accounts i would recommend like getting the account it's free and then like if you if you have an account then you have like your kind of game room or whatever like your list that has a list of all the games that either you made or if someone else makes it and you copy it you, so whenever someone like sh gives you like the link to the public room you should go in and just hit like copy room and then that'll make a copy so you're not messing up the public right. room and then uh, if you have an account that copy goes i, I think it goes to your yeah to your list of games so you can just go there and see oh there's a game i was playing you don't need the url or anything yeah okay. i don't know that about i think you can do i think you can do everything in it without the account but maybe not <laughs> i'll i'll just follow along on the blog and i'll figure it out <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. going to put some basic stuff in there early on yeah and then there's yeah. some you can do some crazy stuff as well but maybe i'll put that in later yeah, I didn't just realize because I was like, wow, how do you get all those, you know, like people with, you know, 200 cards, like getting all those in there. But it's like, OK, you can just import via C CSV. OK, that makes it easy. So I was like trying to figure yeah, out how yeah, yeah. some of these things that seem yeah, like a big task is not. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. I think it's once you get once you figure it out, once you figure it out, it's pretty easy to throw a room together. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll get an account <laughs> and see what yeah, that does. Get an account, come on. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even like. I didn't even realize like that you could have an account at first. I just was like, oh, you know, I yeah. just noticed in the post. I was like, hey, yeah. this is a place you can play a game. So I clicked on. It's like, oh, I can just play yeah. Game. There's, I mean, and, and so I, people don't I really it, know. But, yeah, yeah. There, some of the stuff is just not really clear. So like a lot of people, you know, share like a public room and then people go in there. I'm like, what is this? Right. And they'll just go to edit and then they'll just start playing with it and <laughs> destroying the room in the process for everybody else. But there's nothing on there that, you know, I mean, that tells you like, oh, you know, here, do this. Kind of like get, getting you started and things. So right. have you, you know. have you approached playing cards? And 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 been like, hey, I'll Albert, you want to commission me to do a tutorial series for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. The, a couple of years, like maybe a year ago, they did like a questionnaire for everybody, like, you know, tell us what you want. So I wrote like a big long thing, like, here's what I want. Yeah, what, like, like, is it is it most people creating custom games, or is it what do most of the users go on there to play like cribbage or you know whatever? <laughs> you have no idea yeah <laughs> i mean i just use it for like bnb stuff but yeah. um there's a geek list on bgg that has like a bunch of games that people have have made for it but um yeah not a lot of pmp stuff on there but yeah i guess people must go on there for I see the whole big list. use then like um than tabletop simulator or whatever you can't do as much but if you're just playing cards works really nice right right 
So I yeah, guess you could. Yeah. I don't know that you know. I mean, if you're just going to play like Hearts or something, like it's better to just use an app. I think because nothing's automated. You know, you have to like. Oh, I won this. You know, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, any anything people want to you want to let people know about uh, your blog for that coming up, or do you want to? No, just uh, check, yeah. If you leave like a a link or something, then people can check it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just you can just go there and you can subscribe, and then it'll pop up every once in a while, and you can maybe learn something about PCIO. Yeah, and if you haven't seen a PCIO thing from from uh, Dante yet you sh you might just make one of your game when you when you enter a contest <laughs> and then yeah you, that's how yeah, I found I'm... out about it that's like I, I forget which game it was I put on and then it's like this guy shows up and he's like hey I made a room for it so that everyone can play online I'm like awesome yeah. great thanks you know and yeah I feel like that's yeah. a lot of people's experience yeah that's me I'm like hey I made this game please I hope you want to check it out you know yeah that's me yeah, it's appreciated. Lots of people appreciate that in the community. So I send the thanks in the community to you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. well, everyone's, you know, making really cool games. So um, this is my way of kind of giving back as I get to play these cool games. So yeah, so that's another we haven't really talked about yet is um, specifically the community. Like, how do you feel mm. about the community? What, you know, other than the games themselves what what do you like about the community what would you like to see more of in the community you know that kind of stuff oh yeah community is great right i mean yeah. <laughs> like you and michael were talking about you know last week uh it was just super friendly helpful um you know knowledgeable so it's really good for you know new new designers beginner designers don't know what they're doing their game out there and, and people really you know, giving good advice and welcoming you know really welcoming which is great yeah mm, love it <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you feel like there could be could be more of uh in the community or less of yeah more yeah. more just more you click the like button more i think nobody likes anything right There's gotta be. <laughs> I, I feel i feel like you know i bgg is a weird thing where it is a social media thing but it yeah. almost d doesn't feel like it sometimes right. so like i feel like the, the that aspect of it is a little um hazy or behind on that because yeah there, i think there are a ton of lurkers in these things right mm. um, yeah i think it's just kind of hard like with the the threads like to know like you can't see how many people have subscribed to it you don't right. you know if people comment on it that's good but uh, you don't really have an idea like who you know who's looking at this am I just like posting to myself or something uh, yeah. I'm bad at that too though you know I don't want to but yeah I think like a rule like if you rate it just like it kind of thing it's <laughs> yeah it's nice but um, it yeah I don't know people are shy I guess yeah I mean <laughs> even if you don't yeah but you're right even if you don't leave a comment a, a thumbs thumbs up thumbs definitely up. does thumbs up because yeah like yeah. i've had i haven't been here super long either but i've had like had one game in a contest where i got like no like zero feedback on it and mm. like i was just like i had ideas to develop it further yeah but like no one left like was leaving anything so it's like all right i guess i won't put in the effort on this i could make <laughs> it a better game but if no one cares about it so like mm, so yeah. getting getting that getting that feedback is helpful for the designers putting in the effort for all you lurkers out there you know <laughs> yeah i think there's a lot of lurkers out there i'm guessing yeah so even a thumbs up will help them yeah. know give that thumbs, there's give us a thumbs up give us a like nice nice job <laughs> yeah but that yeah it, it, it's come up like in other contests where people are like i didn't get any feedback and you know i felt bad about it you know so yeah. and so got a bunch of feedback <laughs> yeah and it's interesting because obviously there are some games that probably are like better and you know but like everyone the whole purpose of these is that you know 
at least my view of these, and it seems like the general view is that this is like fun to help everybody out. It's not like to help you develop like a game that's going to sell a million copies, you know, right, right. Uh, we're not professional play testers or anything like that, you know, so, um, but yeah, so like specifically, like for me, I, I actually, you entered, you, you entered the drone, right? And I stopped doing the roll and rights because I actually got less feedback in those ones because it's not yeah. a requirement. So it's, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, like, that one is kind of, yeah, it's a bit quieter than the others. I don't know. So it's interesting. Sure. Like, is the forced feedback better than no feedback? Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know, so it's like, you know, because then I've also on other games have people been like, this is not really like my type of game at all, but I'm giving you feedback. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, I'm supposed to. And, like, it's like, well, it's a better, I mean, that's still valuable feedback, <laughs> obviously. I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to rationalize in my head, like, why you wouldn't want to require feedback. And, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't, I've never chatted with the guy who runs that. Yeah. So I, don't, this, I don't know. Yeah. I ended it for the first time just recently. I kind of, yeah, I kind of follow along, but, uh, that one seems like in general it's the threads aren't as active as as other as other contests yeah there are great games in that contest so i don't think like the quality of the contest is any any less mm-hmm. it's just, this is like i said the threads are a little less active yeah, anyway, it is. <laughs> the other but yeah i've been i've been enjoying the like the one card and i just finished up in the solitaire and the 54 card because i've only been here since march so i haven't gotten the full set yeah yeah yeah, do the whole set and then um button shy has contests as well you know yeah but they so they do it on they do it on discord right on discord yeah they'll do and it's a it's kind of different you don't set up like a thread or anything but it's just kind of like up to you if you're like hey here's my game if anybody wants to trade feedback or something it's kind of a little bit different yeah, and the one thing they do that's uh, Game Crafter is the same, and then um, is you have to make a video explaining your your game in like three minutes or something like that. Um, Which is a great, seems like a good exercise to do. Yeah, it's a good exercise. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yes. so it's it's you know they have they're 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 quite a bit different, but there's some good things about those as well. Yeah, I like to keep all my stuff in. I should branch out a little bit, but like having to be on three different places or two different places for some reason for me, it's just like, ah, uh, I can't be bothered. I like having one one place to go for my board gaming and like. Yeah, uh, BGG is a good. It's a, it's a good spot. It's a good so, spot to be. So, but you have had success in those other places too. So, I should uh, not to mean that on here. Other people can check those out. Those sound good too. If Discord is your thing or. The game crafter thing um yeah yeah so you have some other designers lined up uh yeah i have a i have a, I have a couple more who have uh who have agreed to it I've, I've reached out to a few people um i'm always looking to chat with anybody if anyone's listening to this you know this is not a it's just a casual thing and uh you know it's not the highest you know, I've done, I've done, like, I used to do a podcast in the past. I was like, you know, I edited everything and it like yeah. you know, had intro music and, you know, all the, like, the <laughs> high quality stuff. And this is not that. This is like a, you know, just a, a casual chat. So there's no pressure to anybody who wants to do this. I just find it interesting to find out who these people are behind the, uh, the usernames and yeah. chat in real time is interesting too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, is there anything else specifically you wanted to chat about that you feel like we didn't talk about? That you, yeah? I think we probably covered it. <laughs> <laughs> we we covered we covered the totality of your thoughts. We on did games. it. We did yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah. I don't want to keep you up t- too late either, since you have your your free time while your your your, your kids aren't. Yeah, my kids aren't, are aren't waking up. That was my time. That was my that was my free time. Yeah. So, cool. Well, thanks for chatting. Um, 
and obviously I'll see you around in the threads and stuff, yeah. but, but now yeah, I have a face, great. now I have a face and a voice to put to the, uh, <laughs> to the threads. Cause you know, sometimes you see those threads and I'm like, Oh, what was like the tone of that? You know, you can't really tell, but now it's like, okay, I've heard him talk. So now I can put a little tone to that, to that text, yeah. you know? <laughs> so. Yeah. My tone is always friendly and happy. Yeah. I wasn't talking about you specifically. I didn't think you were sending me <laughs> passive aggressive threads or anything, but uh, you know, some, some other people, and obviously people's texting versus uh, real it's life tough. talking is, is it's it's, tough. Yeah. yeah. No amount of emojis can fix that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, uh, awesome. yeah. We should do it again. Yeah, I'd love to have you on to talk about other games and other projects in the future. So Great. we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you uh, get to your you in the future, I'll let you get to your free time and your bedtime and I'll, uh, I have my whole day ahead of me still. So awesome. Yeah. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs> All right. Take care, Dante. <laughs> All right, See you later. See ya.